Hi, it's Sheila from She's a Sassy Lady. And this morning I want to do a card that I did probably two years ago. And I can't find the file. I'm sure I've got it on my blog, but I haven't even gone on the blog to check. But it's this uh, little smut. Here, let me wide angle out for a minute. This was the original card. It says Smile. And this is, I had it on my old gypsy, and that's why I lost it. My old gypsy died, and I've got a new gypsy. Well, it's not new now, but it, it was at the time. But at any rate, it was taking a card, and the top of the card be letters, okay? And I'm sure I've got this smile file on my computer, but I don't have it on this gypsy. And I thought, you know what? Let's go over this once again, and let's learn how to do it. So what I did is I, I'm, or what we're going to do today is kind of recreate this. Now I got the ruler out and I measured how much the base of the card was. The card is four inches deep. It's actually a five and a half inches, but it's four inches the base of the card. And then I thought, okay, well, what do I want? And I wanted a card that's kind of cute, kind of simple. And let me pull out my, um, I'm going to move this out of the way here. And this is what I'm going to do, and I'm going to lay my thing like this. This is inside of, um, I, this is my iPad. And what I'm going to do is do the little horsey, and it's going to say howdy. And then I'll be able to write on the inside. But I wanted just a plain note card so I can write whatever I want. And this is on page 59 in the Create a Critter book so you know what I'm going to be working with and I've kind of got that off to the side so I can see what I'm doing but it's been so long since I've done done an original gypsy made simple I thought we're gonna do this today and now I have already put on, on and I'm going to layer one as you can see I have this in my my gypsy and it's a2 template is all it says and on it I've got an a2 card right here and as you can see, it's um, if I put my exact size on here, it's four and a quarter by five and a half. So I, when I'm playing with it and working on it on the other page, I got to make sure that the whole card fits within that area, okay? So that we know what we're doing. I am going to get rid of this one by deleting it because all I need to do is work with that box and go to layer two. Now I am going to start out by saving it because right now I've got my A2 template and I'm going to put save as and notice it says A2 so I'm going to backspace and I'm going to put uh, in caps card and I bet my gypsy is going to act up. If it does I'm sorry it's going to act up because I just noticed I'm kind of low on juice. Howdy. Okay, so it's in there. It's in the system as, as card howdy. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to uh, pull, and I'm not going to worry about the little horse right now. The horse, I'm going to have to flip it so it faces that way, you know. But I'm not going to worry about that. Right now, I am going to get the word howdy. And I'm in Beyond Birthdays. Let's go to Create a Critter. So how have you been? It's been so long. You know, with what's going on in my family. And I want to tell you, I was just in Chicago uh, just about two weeks ago. I went to visit my daughter and two weeks in a row I went. I actually, um, I, um, oh, I keep going the wrong way here. I, uh, went, whenever I go to see my daughter, I make appointment to see my dentist. Well, last November I went and I had, my crown went bad. And so I had to get my crown fixed. Well, we started work on it in November. And that meant I had to go back. Well, I, you know me. I'm not going back in the snow. So I figured, okay, I put it off until March. So I went in, got the temporary done, more work done on it. Then, um, where is that silly thing? So I had to go back at the following week. And um, did I go past it? 
get the crown put on. So on the second week, we actually got, it snowed while we were there. And I'm not finding this silly thing. You know what I like about the newer carts is the pictures on there showing exactly where it's at. Here it is, howdy. Okay, now this particular howdy has got the rope on it, and I'm not going to do the rope. So I'm going to backspace, and I'm going to count it out. It's one, two, three, four, five, and I'm going to shift lock, and I'm going to grab just the howdy. I'm not going to have the little um, ties and all that stuff, okay? I suppose I could. Why don't we grab it, and we'll see if we want to do it or not, okay? But here, we've got it. We've got it down here so it's there and ready for us. And then we'll decide what we want to do at that point. Now, we need to go to George, because uh, George is my, my go-to cart. I always go to George to get just the little square. And I'm going to make the square four and a quarter wide by four inches in height. George in basic shapes. Shift lock and right here and it's right there and we are going to go to width four and a quarter wait a minute four and a quarter wide right four and a quarter wide yep five and a half inches long four point two five and it made it square so I'm going to take the little did you see what I did I took the little uh, chain link off and I'm going to change that one to just four inches so now I have a square that's four by four and a quarter and see how it fits perfectly on there now this is the front of my card okay so far now what I want to do is I want to take this howdy and we're only going to do the one we're not going to do the both because and the, here's the reason when I'm playing with this, I'm going to be, see how the back of this card is? I am going to be stretching so that the word howdy fits across this way, and then I'm going to stretch it so that it goes up this way also, and it won't stay the same. So I'll never be able to get that top and the bottom to match up perfectly. So we're just going to deal with the word howdy, and I deleted the howdy with a little rope on it, okay? Now we're going to bring this up here and all I'm going to do is start making it larger so that it fits. Oops. I want to make this larger so I can see what I'm doing. Now it's a very narrow font and it's all the way up to the top but as you can see it's not touching the bottom. So what we're going to do is we're going to play with this howdy. The height of it right now is 229. We're going to bring it down here a little bit. And as you can see, I've got air there, and I don't want to have that. And I'm going over on this side right here, and I don't want to do that. So I'm going to take my width, and I'm going to actually make it 4.25 so that it fits. And we know it fits. Now, the width is absolutely perfect. But we're going to play with that height, and we're going to grow that height up a little bit which of course is going to thicken the letters a little. I like that. Okay. Oops. Back down. I moved it. I hit the ball instead of the, the other. Okay, 4.25. And I'm going to just make this 2.75. So it's plenty thick, looks good. And I just need to move it down a hair before I weld it. And before I weld it, before you weld it now, because at this point, remember, we altered, we altered the width, and we altered the height. Therefore, we can't duplicate it. I can't just say I want 2.75 and get it. We, we altered it. So what we need to do, it's highlighted right now. I'm going to put the plus button, and I'm going to hit go to the um, advanced key and hit copy and now I've got another one so I'm going to go back to that layer 2 I'm going to hide layer 3 
keep layer one intact so that I can see the box underneath and I can see that my card is fitting within the space. The only thing I can also see is it's not lined up perfectly. So I want to, at this point, get it lined up perfectly so it stays within the box. And as you can see, both this side and that side, it's within the template that I made. However, the bottom is not. So what we want to do is, oops, 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 I touched the wrong button. Okay, I got it there. I want to pan up because I want to make sure that this box here is now fitting, oops, what did I do? I hit the wrong thing is what I did. I want to make sure that this box is fitting exactly. There, it's exactly. See how it is on the bottom there? It's fitting exactly on that box, that template that I had made. Okay, so now this is already highlighted. The bottom box is highlighted and I want the um, da, 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 da. I want to go to the basic key I want to go to the group button touch that one then I want to go back to my advanced key and I want to touch weld those two parts are now welded together and you can check it out by seeing all I did was touch the little eyeball key right there and notice though I've got a problem. This is why I always touch the little eyeball key. Now in the word howdy we that little circle there is going to cut out and we'll actually have a circle on our card and we don't want that. So what we want to do is ungroup that. I mean not ungroup but untouch the eyeball button. We want to just touch the word howdy and so it turns purple okay just the word howdy now and it turns purple then I want to do my hide contour which is this little two uh, thing here it looks like a little frame and I'm going to just touch the inside of the howdy the, the Y there and I'm gonna hide it and I'm gonna say okay and I'm gonna go back and I wanna look at that and again it's gonna show it for right now but once I hit save let's hit save Sometimes it still shows it, but usually it doesn't. It will cut properly at this point. Notice how right here, look at that, it's not showing it. Isn't that wonderful? Now, what we have to do though is we have to, we're in George still. We need to go back and we need to make another four, uh, get that here, get that square. So we can do four and a quarter. We want four point two five okay and then we want where did the silly thing go oh here it is here it is here it is okay then we want four inches high okay now we've got it now I want to zoom in so I've got my thumb on the top silver button here and I click on the screen and what I want to do is I want to get my top and my bottom and I'm pushing in the bottom silver button now and I want to get my bottoms of this card put together so that they touch and they match up perfectly which they are at this point and then what I want to do is that is highlighted I want to see how it's in blue I want to touch my group button touch that now the whole thing is now I want to go and weld it together and look at it and it's perfect don't you love it actually it looks like this left side is down a little bit I want to zoom in and look at it better no once I zoomed in it's perfect see that okay we're good so that's the base of the card now notice it sits and I want to zoom out so that you can see this okay that didn't let me zoom out did it there we go okay we're gonna zoom out see how the card sits like that 
so does the howdy right there it sits like that it's perfect now you know me we're gonna double this up we've got the card it's perfect we're gonna it's we're going to touch it we're going to copy it and bring it down because if we're gonna make one card we're we're gonna use a 12 by 12 sheet of paper we might as well make two and have it cut two up. Now notice my size. I've got the whole thing. 849, five and a half. Okay, we're in good shape. We are in great shape on the size of the card. Now let's hit that save button again and let's do our little horse. Now remember, this side here is going to flip on top of the howdy. Let's go to layer three, hide layer two we can hide layer one at this time because we don't have to worry about measurements we need two howdies because it's going to cut as a part of the base of the card it's going to cut so it looks like one piece just like that now what we want to do is we want notice how I've got this colored sparkle glitter paper going over so that's what we want to do is we want to have howdy and we're, all we're going to do is copy that so we can cut out two howdies, okay, which we now have, two of them. And we can cut it out of a little six by six inch square of paper. And so we have that ready. Now, what we also need is we need to get our little horse. Now, remember, our little horse, I've got this kind of tilted to the side, but we want the horse to... Uh, go that direction and when we look at the at the create a critter and you know how to get back to create a critter real fast touch the word howdy okay so it's highlighted howdy's up there just hold your your um, your wand on it touch create a critter and it goes right back and there's our word howdy we're gonna take shift off we're gonna take phase off so now we've got the horse is right here five of them in okay we're not going to get it yet because I've got howdy highlighted and I want to get on a page where it's not now the horse has to fit in this area which as we know four inches okay we don't have to have it say anything we can have just the horse so let's make the horse three and a half inches so oops 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 cancel that we're gonna go over to the basic key we're going to take off that that actual size on it and we're going to put make our cursor 3.5 so we know that it's three and a half inches is what that little horse is going to come out to be so we're going to just do him but he's going the wrong direction because if I leave him like that he's going to fold out and he's going to be looking on the outside we want him folding going in so what we're going to do is we're just going to go to the advanced key and push that little arrow right there oh let me zoom in again sorry sorry about that this little arrow right here just click it and he turns the other direction now we've got the horse and we want two of them so we've got one let's see if I can't get two in a box copy them get one like this over like that this one let's turn them around and see if I can get them all in one little six by six square and yes we can zoom in get them like that get them like that okay so we've got the horse in a six by six square there and let's see go back to my iPad I gotta cheat sorry guys I want to make it a little bit faster. Okay, we need the inside part because this is good. We've got to do this in a dark color so that the horse, um, this will be his tail will be one color and his mane will be another color. So we need to go to layer one. So click layer one. Do the little horse. He doesn't have a tail or a mane. And we put him on there on the bottom here. And let's copy him. And we're going to do the same thing, twirl it around zoom him around make him stand on his head oh and you know what I didn't do shame on me did you notice I forgot to flip him so let go to the advanced key flip him 
go to the advanced key, flip them. Okay, now we've got them going in the same direction. Notice, even upside down, the two little horses are going in the same direction. I want to get this so that I can get them on together and I have enough space here. Okay, now we need to get his little red scarf. Oh, no, 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 we need two things. We need his face. Okay, so layer two. We need his little face. And we better flip his face, too. And need two of them, so we'll copy that. And now we've got two of his face. And then we need the scarf. So that's layer three. Scarf. And again, we got to flip it. Flip it. Copy it. Okay, so there we've got his scarf. Now let's save it. Now, you know what? I'm going to take a copy of him. Let's go. I should have done this to begin with, just so we can see. And let's go to layer two. And paste. Now he's going to be on the top of that one, but just so we can see what he looks like, he's going to be sitting right on there just like that. Isn't that just too cute? Okay, great. Oh, anyway, I was I was telling you, I was telling you, sorry. Went to the dentist, got my mouth fixed. I was so glad. We got stuck in Chicago overnight. Can you stand it? And I want to tell you, I will never fly United again. It was such a horrendous nightmare. You know, it's one thing to get stuck there and them to cancel the flight. But we had problem after problem with the personnel. And I've never seen that happen before. And I was really disappointed. And we finally, we ended up um, where we were flying out of O'Hare. We picked up, uh, I had my iPad with me, got on the iPad and bought tickets off of um, um, right online and went through Midway Airport and flew out on Southwest Airlines and it was just so much easier. It's a smaller airport. I think a lot had to do with a big airport and everybody was getting stuck there. And just the employees were just nasty to deal with. And I, I don't know, personally I don't think there's any reason for that, but I shouldn't have gotten on my high horse. Forgive me, forgive me, forgive me. Um, anyway, get your little goodie cut out and I'll see you back here in a few minutes and we'll put it together. Hi, there's one other thing I wanted to show you. This is the paper that I'm going to be using. But notice, it's design cuts with a view, which means the back part is white. And so that creates a problem with the way that I have the layout done. So simple way to handle that. If you're, because now the way this is going to print if I left it alone, is this is the side would, which would be up, but the whole inside of the card would be this color. I don't want that. I want the inside of my card is white, so that's fine. I don't have a problem with the inside white. I might use another color in the inside, but right now, um, the way it is. So what I need to do, and what you need to do, if, if you need, you know, if you have one-sided paper and you want your color on the outside, all you have to do is either print it or cut it where it's upside down or I don't like that because then I get glue all over that end. So what I do is I grab it and I go to the advanced button here and just hit flip it. Okay and now notice it's upside down but this is actually going to be the front of my paper now. Here, howdy, flip it and even though it's showing backwards when it flips over the inside is going to be white I'm going to lay it on the mat this color just like this okay so it's going to cut just right okay I thought that's something I better show you you know because you might run into the same problem I can't tell you how many times I've cut something the wrong way just because I don't flip it this way it will be cut perfectly thank you Thank you.